Good afternoon, BookTube. This is Johnny. It is a Friday here in West Michigan. It is a, I think it's in the 80s today here in West Michigan. Late spring day, coming into summer. It is, like I said, it is May the 25th, 2018. It's 2.24 in the afternoon here in the Friday afternoon. And uh, my wife is gone. She's uh, off with old girlfriends. And uh, so I'm here by myself. I went, I volunteered at the library book nook, the library used bookstore from 10 to 1. Came home, had lunch, lunch, messed with the computer, cataloged the book I got. Today my free book for volunteering was James Carroll Christ, actually, the Son of God for the Secular Age. I have a lot of books by James Carroll. He's known, uh, famous for Constantine's Sword, mentioned back here. Uh, he's, run, he's written all kinds of books. He's kind of like, he's written novels, nonfiction. And uh, so the only thing I could find in the bookstore that worth taking home and that I collect was James Carroll, Christ Actually, the Son of God for the Secular Age. So I got that. Uh, last Monday, when I volunteered, this is my free book uh, for volunteering at the Book Nook last Monday, 1493, Uncovering the New World, Columbus Created by Charles C. Mann. He uh, wrote a book uh, that's, forgot what the other one is called. I have another book by him. Uh, 19, nine, not 19, 1491. This is 1493. He, he wrote one uh, 1491. So. so I did that Monday. First of all, I should do uh, my Friday reads before I show you the rest of the uh, used books. Um, my wife and I, Wednesday, went to South Haven to Black River Books, went out for lunch, still celebrating our 20, 39th anniversary, wedding anniversary. So we were out, uh, we stopped and visited a friend of ours who's 93, lives in a retirement home. We set up a bird feeder for her outside her window and spent time with her. But then we also went to South Haven Stopped at a Goodwill store, stopped at Black River Books, and uh, stopped at another Goodwill on the uh So I got, I got a lot of used books that I'll show, but as far as Friday reads, um, what I've been reading the last couple of days, I'm, I was reading for uh, Guile's Goat Boy by John Barth. The last two days I've been kind of giving this a rest. You know, I have to digest it in my brain. And so I've been reading, uh, once again, uh, Fear and Loathing at Rolling Stone, Essential Writing of Hunter S. Thompson. And then I was reading this, Who Killed Hunter S. Thompson, edited with humongous introduction by Warren Heckel and many of his closest friends and co-conspirators. Every year I read uh, some books on Hunter S. Thompson, so I've been reading those. So, and then I've been reading uh, Churchill and Orwell, The Fight for Freedom by Thomas E. Ricks. And I've been reading one of the used books I bought at Black River Books, Upward and Up. Onward and Upward, a biography of Catherine S. White. Catherine S. White was an editor, worked for the New Yorker for many, many years. Her husband is E.B. White, who is a very famous writer, worked for the New Yorker. I collect books on the New Yorker, writers who wrote for the New Yorker, people who worked for the New Yorker. So I've been reading that. These are kind of my Friday reads. So, uh, 
I found this at a thrift store. I have this in hardback. This is Flanus. Women Walk the City in Paris, New York, Tokyo, Venice, and London by Lauren Elkin. I have this already, but this is only 60 cents, a little paperback. And I got in the mail this uh, very famous modernist novel, Women and Men by Joseph McRoy. This is over... 1,283 pages. It's a massive booger. I got that in the mail. Well, let me see here. So, these are the used books. I picked this up at when we were at Black River Books, which sells used books. This is Green Henry, a novel by Gautry. Gottfried, Gottfried Keller. He, this was translated out of the German by A. M. Holt. This is a this is an oddball, but uh, it was recommended by two people that I respect, and it looked really fascinating. And I never heard of it, and I like these kinds of novels, so I got that. I picked up a Norman Mailer, The Executioner's Song. I have this in hardback, but this is a nice paperback edition. I really like the writings of Norman Mailer. And then I picked up at a Goodwill thrift store, Who Paid the Piper, The CIA and the Culture of Cold War by Francis Stoner Son Saunders. And then I picked up at a Goodwill this novel, The Financial Lives of the Poets by Jess Walter. I have another novel by him in our library, Beautiful Ruins, a no no novel by Jace Walter. So now I have two. He's a really interesting writer. Check him out. Then I picked up at Black River Books, Drood. This is like a fantasy horror crime thing by Dan Simmons. And then I picked, out a, picked up at a Goodwill, Philip Meyer, his novel, The American Rust. I have his novel, The Sun, by Philip Meyer. This was a notable book, New York Times Book Review. He's really a good writer. Then I picked up at Black River Books, used bookstore, The Tales of a Beat, a Beatnik Glory by Ed San, Sanders. He's a poet, a uh, poet political activist. He's, uh, and this is about Greenwich Village and the life of beatniks. And I have picked up Joan Dillon, The Year of Magical Thinking, The Jewish Messiah, a novel by Aaron Grumberg. And this is like a memoir Zengbar Chess, A Story of Life, Love, Death, in Foreign Lands by Adrian Hartley. I have this in paperback, and I saw this really good shape hardback, and uh, so I bought it. And then I bought two novels by Clive Barker. I had these in beat-up old paperbacks, which I took to the book nook today. This is, uh, I think it's called Acabrac. Acabrat, and this is uh, Acabrat, Days of Magic and Nights of War. So now I have two nice hardback editions for my Clive Barker edition. So those are the kinds of uh, books I picked up at thrift stores, used, uh, that Black River Books used. Yeah, we had a good time at Black River Books, and I could spend a fortune there. But I just look around for odds and ends, things like, uh, like I was really pleased to find Tales of Beatnik Glory by Ed Sanders. Uh, William Burroughs recommended this, Allen Ginsberg. Uh, Ed Sanders wrote a, a poetic biography of, of Allen Ginsberg that's in my 
Main study, he wrote a lot of poetry. He won the National Book Award for poetry. I have that downstairs. He wrote a book called The Family on the Manson, Charles Manson Murders. Uh, so yeah, uh, so uh, I like this for my beatnik collection. And what else? Uh, nothing else really kind of hit me. Just things that looked interesting. I was kind of pleased to get Women and Men by Joseph McElroy. Now to read this booger. <laughs> so, yeah. Like I said, I've been mainly reading Hunter S. Thompson, Fear and Loathing, Essential Writings of Hunter S. Thompson, and reading this book, Who Killed Hunter S. Thompson. In the mornings, I've been reading my book on Nicaea theology, Trinitarian theology. Been reading my commentary on the Gospel of John, ancient and medieval commentators, and reading books on medieval exegesis. And I did that video on the Gospel of Luke. Did a lot of reading. Now I got to do one on the Gospel of John which is another massive thing, undertaking. There's so much in the Gospel of John. When I was in Bible college and seminary, I took classes on the Gospel of John, just spending a whole semester just studying the Gospel of John. And when I was uh, did my internship in Houston, Texas, I preached through 1 John, first epistle of John. You have uh, John wrote the Gospel of John. He wrote the, the Revelations. He wrote first and second and third John. So he was really, he has a lot of writings in the New Testament, really important apostle. So, yeah, we should do a readathon through the, the revelations of Jesus Christ, the last book. It's one of the most controversial book in the New Testament. Well, as far as hermeneutics, how do you interpret it? Do you look at it from a, a dispensational premillennial perspective, an amillennial perspective, a postmillennial perspective. How do you interpret revelations when it comes to the future? Uh, you know, it's, it's a big dilemma. So, uh, as far as that, I got nothing coming in the mail next week. Uh, I thought about going to thrift stores, but, you know, I got enough to read here, and I don't know. After a while, you just want to I just want to sit, watch the birds, write in my diary, read my books, listen to some music, spend time with my wife, uh, just enjoy the sunshine, working on the lawn, working on my flower garden. Yeah, life goes by. So, hope you have a good weekend. Hope you're having uh, a good read time. And until next time, bye. Oh, yeah, and thank you for the the comments and thank you for the new subscribers and feel free to ask me any questions anything that you want to talk about just feel free till next time bye